Hi guys, today we are going to learn about uh, equation of tangent and normal. We know that the equation of a line passing through one point is given by y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. So this m, if we, if we talk about this m, m has one special name that m is called uh, gradient here. Yeah? m is called gradient and its another name is slope here. Yeah? In few books you will find it is slope. So gradient and slope, which uh, in GCSE you do it rise over fall. Yeah, so it is same thing rise over fall. Yeah, this is rise and this is fall. So that gives you gradient. So today equation of tangent because we are doing differentiation and this is part of differentiation. So M is basically it is rise over fall that is rise on Y axis that is dy over dx yeah so if we replace uh, m with dy by dx then we get y minus y1 dy by dx and it is x minus x1 this will give you equation of tangent here yeah? this is give you equation of tangent so uh, how, what is let's give you a brief idea what is tangent what is normal so ten, if this is curve this is curve and this is line which is passing it is touching here that is called tangent so i am writing in short this is called tangent normal is always perpendicular to this line yeah so it always makes 90 degree and this is called normal yeah so we know one rule that uh, uh, if gra gradient of tangent is m1 and gradient of normal is m2 if you multiply so they have one beautiful relationship that is that gives you minus one yeah okay that gives you minus one in another word if uh, uh, tangent has a gradient suppose two over three so what will be the gradient of the normal so what we do we just do negative reciprocal so 2 by 3 so then gradient of normal will be 3 over 2 so if you multiply minus 3 by 2 and 2 by 3 you get minus 1 so that's the relationship between tangent and normal so equation this is equation of tangent let's write down in short this is equation of tangent okay now what will happen in equation of normal so equation of normal what will happen this uh, y minus y1 it stays as it is because if you see gradient is changing negative reciprocal so we will put the negative reciprocal of dy by dx that is write down dx over dy and x minus x1 stays the same so this is equation of normal yeah this is equation of normal right so equation of tangent equation of a normal if these tangent is passing through 0 0 so then uh, remember always touch x1 and y1 whenever you need to change the coordinates always touch x1 and y1 if a uh, tangent if tangent is passing through origin tangent passing through origin so it means our x1 y1 x1 will be 0 and y1 will be 0 do not touch because whenever we mark paper we always see that oh x uh, x somebody puts x0 y0 so never ever touch x and y here yeah? always touch x1 and y1 because these are the points and x and y are axis so then equation will be y minus 0 y minus 0 and gradient oops, uh, whatever it is let's write down m and x minus x1 so x1 is 0 so it will be x here yeah? x minus 0 so this will give you y is equal to mx yeah so for perpendicular line uh, relationship is m1 times m2 is minus uh, minus 1 and for uh, parallel line if lines are parallel if lines are parallel like this this is line and this line then they have relationship m1 is equal to m2 these things you need to remember let's go for the question now if you see find the equation of a tangent and normal to the curve and here is y is equal to x square x square is missing let's write down x square minus 7x plus 5 at the point 3 and 0 so keyword is uh, here that is tangent 
and normal and point this is given so let's write down the equation of um, uh, equation of curve which is given y is equal to x square minus 7x plus 5 yeah if we differentiate it dy by dx if you have seen my previous video please uh, i have taught the, uh, there how to differentiate so it will be 2x minus 7 yeah now we know equation of tangent is equation of tangent is y minus y1 is dy by dx yeah and x minus x1 yeah so remember i am uh, making here asterisk sign asterisk sign what you need to do see these points these points you always put here yeah then you put dy by dx here from here so dy by dx is 2x minus 7 so let's calculate dy by dx at 3 and 0 so we just write down here 3 and 0 so dy by dx at 3 and 0 so from here you get from here you get uh, let's put it hmm, 3 and 0 so 2 times 3 and minus 7 so that is 2 times 3 is 6 6 minus 7 is minus 1 so this dy by dx so this asterisk sign will replace this so this dy by dx we always put never ever put dy by dx straight away always put point in this and then put it so uh, let's see how uh, our equation is going to take place. so here i said never touch x and y so let's y remains y y1 is this is y1 y1 is 0 dy by dx so we are taking this dy by dx at point that is minus 1 and x never touch x and x1 is 3 here yeah? so if you multiply so we got y equal to minus x plus 3 and you can put it like this as well x plus y minus 3 equal to 0 in the ax plus by minus c form or plus c form whatever it is here so this is equation of tangent so this is our equation of tangent yeah for normal what you need to do for normal what you need to do? so let's do it for normal uh, for, for normal what will happen it will be y minus y1 that is minus negative reciprocal of gradient that is dx over dy and x minus x1 yeah a negative reciprocal you know if uh, um, if person is standing like this you just turn it round upside down and negative reciprocal this is called negative reciprocal yeah reciprocal so let's write down never touch x and y follow the follow same principle okay and never touch x and y so y minus y1 y1 is 0 minus dx or dy so our uh, this is minus 1 yeah negative reciprocal of minus 1 will be 1 yeah so let's put here minus 1 so negative reciprocal of minus 1 will be 1 yeah so uh, minus 1 if you turn it round and put minus and then minus minus will turn into positive so remember you need to turn it into positive sign so it will be positive 1 yeah okay so that is negative reciprocal so negative reciprocal is one so we have already calculated this this value negative reciprocal is one so one and x minus x1 so x minus x1 never touch x and y so x1 is if you see here x1 is three so let's write down here three so y equal to x minus 3 and uh, you can write down x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 this is called equation of normal this is equation of normal and this is equation of tangent here yeah? let's quickly see another question mm, here is so from the equation of tangent and normal uh, to this equation so if you uh, differentiate it so you'll get dy by dx x square differentiation is 2x and this once you take up then it will be x to the power minus 2 so and this is minus sign already there so let's put minus then minus 2 coming here and x minus 3 so we got 2x plus 2 over x cube that is dy by dx so equation uh, now dy by dx always calculate at point here yeah? dy by dx always calculate at point asterisk sign so uh, dy by dx at point um, 
dy by dx at point so let's write down here that is 1 and 4 this these are the point 1 this is 1 and 4 so 2 times 1 x is 1 and here x is 1 so we got 4 here now equation of tangent will be equation of tangent will be y minus y1 dy by dx x minus uh, x minus x1 yeah so y1 is 4 dy by dx is this value at the points that is 4 and x minus x1 is 1 so if you simplify y minus 4 is equal to uh, 4x minus 4 and it will be y equal to 4x and minus 4 minus 4 is cancel out so that is equation of tangent here and when we are calculating equation of normal so it will be y minus y1 negative reciprocal of this that is dx over dy and x minus x1 so y minus y1 is 4 now negative reciprocal of 4 will be negative reciprocal of 4 so it will be minus 1 over 4 so as i told you 4 you can write down 4 over 1 you upside down so 1 over 4 and negative reciprocal is this so it is minus 1 over 4 x minus x1 is 1 so always multiply this 4 here so it will be 4 times y 4 uh, 4y 4 times 4 is 16 and it is minus x plus 1 let's uh, bring x this side so it will be x plus 4y minus 17 is equal to 0 this is equation of tangent and equation of normal yeah so this is normal and this is tangent here yeah? let's write down in short tangent tangent and normal okay let's quickly see another question if you see given equation of a curve is 1 by 3 x cube minus 9 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 18 x so x is greater than 0 you find dy by dx and show that the point p 932 lie on the curve and find the equation of a normal at the point p here yeah? so you need you pause the video and uh, have a go let's see how you do it and then you can check your working against my working welcome back we will calculate dy by dx so if we calculate dy by dx then uh, it will be dy by dx 1 by 3 3 is coming forward so it will be 3 x square then 9 3 by 2 is coming forward x 3 by 2 minus 1 that is 1 by 2 and this it this x is going here so it will be x to the power minus 1 so minus 1 is coming forward and 18 x minus 2 and 30 will be 0 so uh, if you see here you can cancel this 3 and 3 here and you can simplify this so i will show you the solution then what dy by dx and for this 9 and 32 what we are going to do let's have a look let's have a look here I have solved this question for you and you can check your working so here it is so this is our dy by dx x square minus 27 x half minus 18 x square now for second part you need to put 9 and 32 here in place of x so in place of x if you put 9 and 32 this 9 here um, all these equation you put 9 so we get 725 over 18 here 7 to 5 over 18 so uh, let's uh, uh, so, sorry 9 and 32 and this is 932 you are going to put here that is your b part yeah so b part so if you put 9 here and 9 here and simplify then you get 32 value which is equal to y so it means 9 and 32 lies on the curve and this is equation of a normal so we'll put the point here dy by dx okay so we'll put dy by dx here x is 9 okay because only x you need to put so we got 725 over 18 so negative reciprocal will be minus 18 over 725 this is negative reciprocal and x minus 9 so y it is exactly same y minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 so y is 32 y1 is 32 x1 is 9 just put it and cross multiply 725 with y and 32 and you'll get this is equation of normal yeah so uh, i hope you have enjoyed the video and in next video we are going to do exam questions based on tangent and normal and different uh, differentiation and we are going to learn about maximum points and minimum points here. Yeah? Till then, good boy. Thanks for watching.